Okay, so we did not include the vows in the wedding video and a lot of you guys are super sad you didn't get to hear them. It wasn't really intentional. I wanted it to be music only on my wedding video. I, it's not that I wanted to keep the vows private. I just didn't include them in the wedding video. So we filmed this separate video so you guys could hear the rehearsal dinner speeches and our vows. So I'm gonna go ahead and read my vows to Asa. I will say there's a quote in here from a poem. Um, so like, don't copyright me. I know that it's a quote. I have it in quotes in here, but I won't be able to like read it in quotes. So Asa, ever since I was a little girl, my sisters and I would play a game where we would describe our dream man. I used to recite a list a mile long of attributes I wanted in a husband, thinking it would be impossible to find somebody who encompassed everything I wanted and was looking for. Little did I know, every time I played that game, I was simply describing you. From being as handsome, kind, and Christ-like as I dreamed, all the way down to my very specific wish of marrying somebody with great teeth, you are everything I could have wished for and more. Your love for me is the kind authors write in fairy tales, the kind poets describe and little girls wish for. Never has a day gone by where I didn't know how valued I am by you. Even though we only have lived on this earth for a handful of years, I am certain I have loved you in more than a thousand different lifetimes. I love you beyond words, beyond thoughts, beyond imagination. I cannot wait to live every day as your wife and life partner. Vows. Okay, here are my vows. Here we go. Bailey, on the first day that I met you, I prayed that night that God would place you in my life for forever. However, I never imagined that God would answer that prayer with the opportunity to be your husband. Over the past five years, I have learned the true meaning of friendship and unconditional love. You helped me mature, helped me find confidence in myself, and learn how to serve others selflessly. You're my best friend and soulmate. As your husband, here are my promises to you. I promise to always love you. I promise to always put you first. I promise to teach our children to love God and live lives of kindness. I promise to always be your partner in crime, and I'll take the blame if we ever get caught. And I promise to better myself every day so that I can always give you my best. I love you today, tomorrow, and forever, and I cannot wait to continue this journey called life with you. Bailey and I saw you fall in love with her. It 
was like magic in the air. Ace of Spades. <laughs> I just shout out to Ace of Spades. You fell in love in that moment, and I watched little 15 year old Asa know even then what a treasure he had found. That moment is a, no, that moment is a memory I will remember forever, and I will tell my children about. I think I speak for all of my sisters when I say that we thank, when I say thank you. We grew up watching you treat Bailey in the way we all wanted to be treated. The doting, loving, and supportive, thoughtful man you were to her. You set the standard for all of us, and that is something you should be extremely proud of. Despite your quirky dance moves, and nerdy comments, and the one time you tried to get in the middle of an argument between Billy and I about lost your life, <laughs> I could have picked a better man for my sister. I'm her soulmate, but you are the love of her life. And I wouldn't want it any other way. To everyone here tonight, I hope you realize the relationship we're celebrating is special. It's a fairy tale, picture-perfect story of two children who fell in love, and it's gonna last forever. Just know how incredible every moment of this journey has been for them, and to savor the memories you will get to make here and within today and tomorrow. Bailey and Asa, we love you. I can't wait to watch you guys be in love forever. Cheers. <laughs>
Miami versus to be see that. We are really excited to see you two get married tomorrow. I'm excited because I already called you my brother-in-law, and now I can actually like say that you actually are my brother-in-law. And we've learned a lot about Asa throughout the years. I mean, like my dad said, he lived with us during quarantine. Asa and I actually shared a bathroom, so I believe I fought with Asa more than Bailey did, because I had to tell Asa to clean his beer hair out of his So watch out, Bailey. And he would do his like, little like gross, like, do, like this weird noise.
want to thank you so much for all your love and support over the multiple years. It's been a long time. But that you travel despite the possible weather. We are thankful that you are here with us today. And we could not be more excited to share our marriage and our wedding with y'all. I second everything he says. And speaking of being uh, grateful, this beautiful setup, I have to say thank you to Ms. Stephanie, Ms. you know, Christy, Mr. Ryan, thank you guys so much for the beautiful rehearsal dinner. For my parents for always loving and supporting me and allowing my wedding dreams to come true. Thanks, Dad, for the paycheck. So, February 8th, let me cheers for the 